What's up everybody? This is my last vid of the year. Hopefully if it gets posted on time. Basically I'm going back still talking about it on request for people who don't know what it is or don't really know what to think or say about it. If you saw my last vid, which I admit was pretty crummy because you really couldn't hear my voice, you had to turn the speakers all the way up to hear it. Sorry about that, I was kind of tired and stuff like that. Basically what you need to know about Antarctic Press is that it's independent. It's an independent comic book company. They publish manga style comic books. Now a lot of people out there, especially the, these so-called hardcore otaku fans, you know, who pretty much ironically are snobby and turn their noses up to anything they don't really consider real manga or anime, probably wouldn't check this, check this stuff out. Or probably just call it crap because it's Americans doing manga style art. And I have one thing to say about that. This is really a damn shame nobody like somebody would think that way. Now for those of you who don't know, again, um, there's two main titles from this publisher that's mostly well known to people who follow it. There's Ninja High School, which is basically a Yorosei Yatsura set in the Midwest <laughs> and has giant robots and all kinds of things and then there's Gold Digger which is a truly original and very appealing series probably one of my favorite comic book series that I've ever read it was especially Indiana Jones like story about these two sisters named Brittany and Gina Gina being the brains of the outfit and Brittany being a weird cheetah <laughs> basically she turns into like a a weird cheetah is the it's a werewolf but not a werewolf it's a weird cheetah and if you don't know what that is, go look up pics of it. It's pretty interesting. Now, there was one series that caused a lot of controversy called Warrior Nun Ariella, which was a series by the same creator of Ninja High School, who was Ben Dunn, not the surfer, who um, basically was about these nuns who went around and killed demons and vampires. And basically, they caught some, he caught some flack about it because the Catholic Church thought it was bad, but a lot of people thought it was really good and positive because it portray nuns in a very positive light you know uh, taking a nun and making her a very a superhero so to speak and uh, as far as gold digger goes gold digger might appeal to a lot of people who who are mostly into fan service because there's a lot of fan service in gold digger but for the most part aside from the street fighter references you know whole indiana jones ripping it's a pretty good series ninja high school many people might complain about it's too much being too similar to Yurosei Yatsura, which was its main influence on the series, but you know, I kind of enjoyed it. There was always a different plot point going on. The plot, the plots were very decent, and and unlike most other stuff that's out there, you, you, there was there's hardly an issue that does not have action in it. Every issue is guaranteed to be a rock'em sock'em, balls to the wall action adventure in every issue. And uh, pretty much that's it. That it's not really a gripe. It's just throwing some just suggestions out there. And um, as far as I know, Gold Digger might be. Um, Fred Perry said that Gold Digger is almost through, which is unfortunate. Well, it's probably about that time. It's been in print for almost 14 years. And uh, Ninja High School is still ongoing. Ben Dunn's still working on that. And you know, hopefully more will happen to him. It's unfortunate, like a. Yeah, Warrior Nun Arela was about to be made into an anime some years back, but it never materialized. You can see the video clip of the intro here on YouTube. Uh, Ninja High School never made it that far. Even though uh, uh, Fred Perry, who also does some light animation, did pu have a make a slight small animation for the tw video, the 20th anniversary of Antarctic Press, which is based out of uh, Austin, Texas. And, uh,. Pretty much that's that. I'm just telling people to give it some more love again. And, uh, you know, post comments if you think it's any interest to you. And, uh, you know, ask questions. Go investigate and go pick it up. And uh, hopefully, you know, give it some support. Some really good stuff there that really deserves to see the light of day. But, you know, it's been in print 20 years. only has a hardcore fan base. Now, if you now if you do see and you like it, you want to pick up some titles, I hate to tell you, like most comic shops that I've been to, they they very rarely had it. Unlike back in the day, most like mostly manga, a lot of manga from Japan is coming in. 
and so and our press is really hard to find so you have to order have to specifically order at your comic publisher uh, I saw a couple of graphic novels once or twice in Borders and Barnes and Nobles but that's really you know, a few far in between but the creators Fred Perry and Ben Dunn they do have the Let's Draw Manga series which is a how to draw series which includes other comic book creators from the company so she, you should also check that out and um, that's about it Happy New God bless. Happy New Year. Peace.